Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMD and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're gonna to be reacting to the news that Nordschleifer is coming to ACC. And um, yeah, this is going to be crazy. So let's watch a bit of the trailer and then I'll give my thoughts afterwards, man. Yo. I already know it's gonna look nuts. I can already imagine. It's gonna be so tricky on ACC, but it's gonna look insane. This was probably like one of the most requested things when this game like first came out. People wanted Nordschleifer so badly. Season 2024 though. 2024, damn, that's that's a little while away. Sheesh. Alright, man. Um What can I say? Like, you know, in, in many ways it's good because we know we're still gonna be getting content going into the future. It does make me wonder if there's anything else coming as well. Because we they always we always heard about GT2s. I already did a video on the possibility of Jeddah also coming as well. So if we're gonna get like a plethora of like top tracks, then ACC can it can stay alive, man. It can survive, man. I'm telling you. Because I can only imagine what the endurance races on Nordschlaf will be like. They will be crazy. Especially because when you think about it, okay, ACC is not gonna be the only game, only game to have Nordschleifer, but if you think about you know the the weather transitions that ACC has, the wet to dry, the 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 day to night, night to day. There's no other game that can really do it as well as ACC at the moment. So, yo, that's gonna be crazy. Create like I'm not even the biggest Nordschleifer fan, but you know I'm part of the community. I care about the community, and I know everyone is gonna be super hyped for this man. Super hyped and. Endurance races will be insane. I, I, I'm trying to think how many cars would they allow around the track. I think Suzuka, you can fit like 105 or something like that. So you can only imagine how many cars you could actually put on the circuit at Nordschleife, man. Like multi-class racing. Jesus. It's, it's going to be a lot. It is going to be a lot. Hopefully this means as well we're going to get support in some other tracks as well, man. Because, you know, we've 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 been waiting to find out if we're ever going to get like Manny Core and... Obviously, I talked about Jeddah before, you know, could we possibly get like a Hockenheim or, you know, tracks that are not that hard to attain. You know, like, come on, come on, Kunos, man. You can do it, man. You can do it. You can give us a few more. Because I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, it will transform everything. No more endurance races, always at Spa or Suzuka, where it it gets kind of boring. Um, I'm hoping as well with a, with a brand new update, normally a brand new patch. And maybe they might see what LFM and AOR were doing and actually try and sort the BOP themselves. And um, yeah, man, this is going to be nuts. I haven't done any endurance races for ages, but when this comes out, I'll probably, I'll probably take a few. And I don't even, I'm not even good at Nordschleife like that. I'm good at Nürburgring and then the first sector of Nordschleife. And then after that, it's guesswork, right? So um I'm still happy though. I'm still happy. I still think it's it's big for the game for sure. For a game like this, it, it needed that iconic track, man. It definitely did. It needs that iconic event because I can see, you know, people from iRacing, R Factor coming over to do like a big 24 hour race around Nord, you know, because ACC will definitely nail it. Definitely nail it. And there's so, with, with Nordschleifer, there's so many like different permutations you can have, man. You know, you can have, you know, when it rains in one part of the circuit and all that sort of stuff you see in real life. I wonder if the way they could implement that on ACC, if possible, would be great. Because that there is, when it comes to like wet weather driving, ACC probably is one of the more realistic games out there. So, ah, mate, it's going to be insane. I, I do kind of wonder though, um, because you know how like... <laughs> You know how like some of the cars struggle so much over curbs and bumps and that? I do sort of wonder how the cars are going to survive those jumps, man. You know, unless you're in an AMG, you're chilling. But in some of the other cars like the Ferrari 296, unless you're going to put the car up on stilts, man, it's, <laughs> it might be a pretty scary time driving some of the other cars. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just I'm just happy. I'm happy that the game's still getting support into 2024. They normally don't just say 2024. They normally say like fall of 2024 or whatever, but they just 
Yo, they're kind of leaving us hanging. But they do this, Kunos, man. They do this, bro. They don't really like to... They don't really like to keep us in the loop too much. Like, we always kind of, like, guessing what's going on, you know? Like, we, we had a roadmap at the start. And when I think about the roadmap, half that stuff didn't even come true, bro. We got Imola. We weren't even expecting... You know, they, they like to just pop out of the blue with stuff. So I'm expecting maybe the same thing will happen with Jeddah. They might just pop out of the blue. But if this is like a, let's say they've actually, actual actual DLC, like a world DLC, maybe they might do something like that, where they bring out Nordschleife or Jeddah and a couple of tracks together instead of just being these random updates where we just get random stuff. So hopefully that's the case, man. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Scripted TMG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.